beautiful ladies and gentlemen so um i am back finally i'm sorry i know i keep on not forgetting about my blah, 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 blah. speak madison speak you could do this not forgetting about my videos but i've just been a little busy because i've been working a lot and wait i've been working and then what else was i doing um Oh yeah, I moved. I'm kind of trying to find like lighting in this house, like where I could film and where I could set up and all that stuff like that. But um, I think here is pretty good. The lighting looks really good right now. Um, I hope that when I go and upload it, it looks just as fine. But right now it looks fine. So I decided to film this look. And this is a really pretty like fall look. Um, the lip is a little dark and if you want to make it softer, this look would definitely be very pretty with like a nude lip. So you could do that also but I of course wanted to go dramatic so I picked the dark brown lip it's gonna be like my dramatic fall look and I hope you guys enjoy it and thank you for being so patient with me and waiting for the new video because I know I've been uploading like every two weeks which is horrible but I promise I'm going to stop and there will be more videos coming in the future but anyways um thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you later Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is eat your chips because <laughs> you can't be hungry while you're doing your makeup. So yeah, eat some chips. <laughs> and then after I do that, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Choco Bar Palette. And I am going to use the color Peanut Butter. And I am going to put that in my crease for a transition color like usual stuff. Then I'm going to go in with my favorite brown eyeshadow ever, Truffled. And I'm going to use Truffled on the outer edge of my eyelid and into my crease also just to darken it up and as you can see I'm just kind of just getting the color in there and after I put the truffled on I'm going back in with that big fluffy brush that I used to put on peanut butter and I'm going to blend the truffled out some more so that's exactly what I'm doing here and then now I'm just putting peanut butter on my lower lash line just to um, make it even more smoky. So this is peanut butter that I'm putting on right now. Actually, no. Right now, now I'm putting on truffled to make it even more smoky. So you could see the darker brown is truffled and the lighter brown is peanut butter. So yeah, that's basically it for the eyeshadow. That's all the shadow I'm going to do. And I'm just doing the same thing on the other eye. I'm just putting um, truffled on the outer edge of my lid and into the crease. Same thing as the last eye. And then um, after I do this truffled eyeshadow and I go over it with the peanut butter and blend it out, then I am going to start with the um, liner and lashes. So I didn't film um, one eye of me doing the liner. I just did one of them. And then the other one I did off camera. So I'm eating more chips again. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, I'm just doing this winged liner. I say all the time I have a specific video just for how I do winged liner. So if you want to go watch that, it's on my channel too. So I don't get too in-depth on here. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to finish that liner. And then after I do the liner, I am going to put some lashes on. And these lashes are from Blinking Beauty. I think that's how you say it. Um, they're the Samantha lashes and I really like these lashes. They're so dramatic, they're so full, and they're so fluffy looking. So I'm just gonna put those on and wait for that glue to, glue to dry and then I am going to go back and cover it like usual. So then um, after eyes, I'm gonna go onto skin. And um, I'm using the Becca Opal, the liquid kind. And I'm kind of putting that like more on my cheeks and um, on my nose, a little bit on the forehead because I want glowy skin. So this is definitely going to give you that. So that's why I'm using this product to give me a nice glow. If you're oily, you probably will not want to put this all over your face. Definitely not. Just in some specific areas. But I'm super dry, so I'm safe to do that. Now this is my foundation. I'm just using Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I am the number eight in her foundation right now. Um, I pretty much lost most of my tan. I was really tan during the summer, but I've lost most of it now. So I'm just putting that foundation on like I always do. I'm using a Zoeva brush. And then um, now I'm just going to go in with my highlighter and I am mixing Laura Geller Gilded Honey with Bobbi Brown Pink Glow. So. I am just going to apply that highlighter, same spots that I always do, on my cheekbones, 
down my nose, on the temples, all those kind of places. Then I'm going to start my lip. So for my lip, I'm going to use Lime Crime Salem, which is like a, it's like a warm brown color. It's like a chocolate color. It's very pretty. Um, it looks shiny right now, but it's going to dry down to a matte because it is a velveteen. So those type of Lime Crime lips dry down to a matte. So it's going to get matte. And I love this color. I think it's really perfect for the fall. And I'm um, just waiting for it to dry now. And yeah, guys, this is basically the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching my video. And if you have any questions, just leave them down below. And I will talk to y'all later. I love you. And thank you for watching again. Bye.